Shalom brothers and sisters. So just a few things that popped up on my newsfeed that I thought I'd share with you this morning and then just touch on the fact that a lot of people, you know, um, knowledgeable, known people are saying it's just an eclipse, nothing to worry about, it's not connected to anything, don't even bother. My question to you then, just leave all of the coincidences, the biblical connections, all the signs, everything pointing to this being really important. My question to you is, why is the world, the secular world, the non-Christian world, so focused on this eclipse? Hectically so. If they're watching it like a hawk, if they are so seriously woken up about it and watching and eyes all on this eclipse, they obviously know that it's important. Why are they so fully into this thing? Listen to these. Why is the National Guard being deployed during the Great American Eclipse on April the 8th? Oklahoma's National Guard is set to be deployed for the upcoming total solar eclipse when as many as 100,000 people are expected to visit the country. In a statement on Tuesday, the Guard said it would assist emergency management to cope with an unprecedented number of tourists on April 8th in McCurtain County, southeast of the state. The Guard will provide first responders as well as units with hazmat response capabilities in case of an incident like an industrial fire. So because the tourists are coming to come and view the eclipse, we need to make sure we have access to hazmat suits because of industrial fires. In a country where there's regular, unexplained and being investigated train derailments with toxic materials and fires at food processing plants and things like that. Now, because tourists are coming, they need hazmat suits in case of an industrial fire. Are they not checking the bags of the tourists? Are they not removing the, the little things they're bringing with to cause the industrial fires and the toxic materials that you need the hazmat suits for? doesn't add up to me at all. What I see is National Guard deployed. Why? So that you've got a control mechanism in place. That's what I think. Then the FAA warns of air travel disruptions in the path of the April 8 eclipse. Now, I didn't think that the eclipse could affect an aeroplane's engines and ability to use its nav computers and everything to get to where it's going, but obviously I'm wrong. The Federal Aviation Administration warned of disruptions in air travel before, during and after the total solar eclipse of April 8. The unique total solar eclipse, unique, will bring a path of totality across 13 U.S. states when the moon totally blocks the sun, leaving the sun's outermost layer, the corona, visible to the naked eye. Kind of, kind of like a wedding ring. Just putting that out there. So, yeah, that's interesting. <clears throat> I know, you know, pilots can't fly if they don't see the moon. So, now this whole moon solar thing must have them all confused. You know, flying into mirrors with their bearings. I don't know. But it's interesting. Then, officials warn of widespread cell phone disruption ahead of the solar eclipse. They're warning that April solar eclipse could cause widespread disruption to cell phones. Millions of tourists are expected to flock to certain states along the eclipse path. Right, so huge overload, massive disruption in cell phone communication, National Guard ready to be deployed in case of chaos. What else are they not telling us? What else is linked to this thing? Why is it so important? It's interesting. And I mean, their arguments seem valid. And if you think about it from a non-Christian, non-awake person perspective, yeah, that sounds good. <clears throat> but then the number 13 keeps jumping out at me in these news articles coming from Secular News. And 13 is connected with rebellion in the Bible. So Nimrod, for example, is the 13th generation in Ham's line. And he's also, by the way, the one who apparently built Nineveh. Jonah, Nineveh, this current eclipse. The dragon, a symbol for Satan is found 13 times in Revelation. Haman 
the Agagite has a decree signed on Nisan 13. Nisan, the first month of the year that we're coming up on right now, directly after the eclipse. That on Adar 13, the last month of the sacred year, all Jews in the Persian Empire were to be killed. Esther 3 verse 7 to 9. His plans were thwarted. Queen Esther and Mordecai won the day there with God's help. 13. Israel's currently beset by enemies on all sides. Everybody wants her destruction, even her friends. Everyone's crying out from the river to the sea. Everything is building towards that that seem in a hopeless situation. But God. The destruction of Jericho is stamped with the number 13, believe it or not. For the city was marched around for six days straight. On the seventh day, it was marched around seven times. Total? 13. So that, that for me is interesting, really interesting. And the fact that the world is so focused on this eclipse. Maybe someone needs to tell the world it's not important. It doesn't mean anything, it has no relevance. We should all get on with our lives. Or they're watching and we should be watching. And we should be reading what we're seeing and getting excited because we're getting closer and closer to the Lord coming. To collect his bride. You decide which side you want to be on. God bless. And shalom.